Hi, my name is Jim Moyle, and we're going to talk about image deployment for Windows Virtual Desktop today. If you're interested in socials, you'll see the links there. All right, good. So we're talking about Windows Virtual Desktop, the Azure only desktop as a service. And we're going to have a look at cloud-based image deployment. So. We're not going to run up a whole lot of SCCM instances or anything like that. This is all going to be cloud-based. Today, we're going to have a look at Packer and how you can combine Packer with the shared image gallery on Windows Virtual Desktop. This will also work for other types of images as well. It's just that mainly idea with WVD. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. Inside our resource group here, we have got <coughs> one VM which is just a standard Windows 10 VM, fairly brand new deployed, and a shared image gallery. We'll talk about that shared image gallery in a little bit. Inside that VM, we've got um, essentially VS Code and Packer installed. Now, <clears throat> you don't need VS Code to run Packer, but it's dead handy in terms of um, JSON and any PowerShell you want to run. Um, all the files here will be available in my associated GitHub repository, which is linked there. I shall also link it in the description of the video. In order to deploy a golden image using Packer into Azure, we need this VM. We need an installation of Packer on this VM. And we need a JSON file. And that's it. So let's have a quick look at the JSON file. So this is um, copied and pasted and, and changed a little from the demo Windows file, which is available from the Packer documentation page, which I'll also link down below. We can see this type instead of Packer, the JSON is going to tell it to communicate with Azure and to communicate with Azure using uh, ARM. My resource script, as we saw earlier, is going to be called Packer. And I'm just going to call it my demo Windows image when that actually ends up in my resource group. The OS type I'm using is Windows. And because we're talking about WVD, so Microsoft Windows Desktop, it's going to be the um, uh, Windows 10 multi-session with Office 365 installed, and it's going to be the latest SKU. Packers are going to communicate with that VM, uh, VM over WinRM, and I'm going to put it into UK South over a standard DS2, uh, instead of standard DS2 uh, V2 VM. Now that VM, we're not going to end up with a VM because we want to end up with a managed image. That's the VM that Pack is going to use uh, to stage that image, configure it, and then um, put it into a managed image. Provisioners. So how are we going to customize the VM once it's up and running before we change it to a managed image? Essentially, you can run any kind of PowerShell you want here. Now, this is the default from Packer. And <clears throat> I've only made one change to it which is here, which is that it's testing whether three services are running with the RD agent, Windows Azure telemetry service and Windows Azure guest agent. The telemetry service is deprecated and doesn't get installed automatically anymore. So I've uh, put a hash in there to comment that out. So we'll, test, we'll still test with the two services and then it's going to run sysprep essentially. Uh, with the out-of-box experience and uh, and VM mode. Um, and it's going to report back from that uh, registry key. Let me just scroll across so that you can see the full registry key. There, HKM software, Microsoft Windows current version setup state. Okay, and it's just going to have a look at that and just check if it's not equal to that, which means essentially it's running. It's then going to write the output. Essentially, it's going to look at that key and write the output of the key. 
that is the absolute base that you need to do it. Now, in a lot of uh, JSON files, it, it will um, include a connection. It isn't here because I've got on this VM in Azure, managed identity, and I've given that VM managed identity a contributor writing um, writes on my subscription. Normally I wouldn't do something like that, but it makes things easier. And this is just my uh, test lab. So I'm, I'm fine with that. There's all sorts of other authentication possibilities. You can look into those separately. We're not going to cover those other authentication methods today. All right, so let's get on with the demo. Um, I need to be connected and authorized to Azure. And I am. That's good. Now we're going to have a look at some other things. So in backing up JSON, okay, we've got OS type, image publisher, blah, blah, blah. I want to just verify that that's all correct. And I want to find a way to make sure I'm getting the latest version of the image that I want. All right, so I'm just going to set those variables. And we're going to get a skew from that. So essentially, we're looking for that publisher and that location and that offer. And we're looking for where those SKUs match star EVD star. And we've got a few here. And we can see there's various iterations of Windows 10. Now, I want the latest one. Which is that one there, because I've just sorted it on the version and I've selected the first one. So all there is to it to make sure that every time you do a build, you can find what the latest SKU is for whatever version of that image that you want that's provided by Microsoft. All right, I've actually put all of that into a function. So let's just dot source that function and then we'll run it and we'll get the latest information for UK South. So that's gonna go off and query um, Azure. And we see we're returning the correct information for UK South. So that's just a simple way of getting the latest uh, um, image version into your JSON file. Okay. Packet gives you a way to validate your JSON file, which is uh, Packer validate Windows 10 managed image.json. That at symbol is just there so I can uh, execute it from PowerShell. If you're running it from uh, from uh, command line, uh, you'd use that as well. But you could run it from the CMD um, if you wish, and you wouldn't need that at. Um, this hopefully won't return any errors, and it will just come back saying it can't find the file specified. Uh, I reckon that's because I reorganize my there we go. And I would say that's probably the same down here. And down here and down here. All right. So let's try validating it again. And we've come back saying that syntax is fine from the That is syntax is fine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use that JSON and use packer build and the path to that JSON. I know we've done a few things here, but really all you need to be is authenticated to Azure, have the packer application installed and have a JSON file that's got the right stuff in it. That's it. Super simple. All right. So we're just going to start that. We're going to expand the, uh, the terminal a little bit. Now we're saying we're going to create a resource group. 
and we can see we have created a resource group here. It's got a random name attached to it and um, that's fine. So this is a staging resource group that Packer uses to um, create the VM in. As you can see, it's created a key vault. We'll have a look at what it creates in a second because it's just going to try and deploy everything else. Okay, we can see that there's a whole lot of other things that have just been deployed into this resource group. We've got a VM, which will be that D2 that we uh, put in the JSON file. We've got a virtual network, we've got a public IP address, uh, and a NIC and a disk. All right, so let's go back to here. Yeah, and effectively, what we're doing now is we're grabbing that image from the gallery and we're creating that VM from that image. Now we're connected to WinRM and effectively we're customizing that image. Now then, as soon as we've customized that image, remember we were going to check a few services and sysprep it. We could have run anything else at that point. Um, we could have installed whatever applications we wish, as long as you could do it in PowerShell, then you can do it in the customization phase. And now we're just powering off the VM, ready to turn it into an image. Now we've powered off, we're capturing the image, All right, and we're actually cleaning up now. So we're gonna start removing uh, this resource group as we can see underneath there. So we can see that that resource group is cleaned up now. All right, let's go back to the Packer resource group. And we can see that we've got a My Demo Windows image, which is what we configured in that JSON previously. All right, we can see underneath that that script is finished after the cleanup. All in all, and I've sped this up for you, obviously, that uh, process took about 10 minutes to complete. Uh, let's just do a quick test. Let's uh, just create a VM from, uh, from that image. Uh, again, I'll speed this up for you. So, um, after we've added RDP to that incoming uh, VNet, just logged on to this uh, Windows 10 machine for the very first time after creating it from the image. And there we are. So let's just have a quick look. And the and this service. That we didn't check before, let's just double check. That it's not here. Nope. All right. I think we can safely shut this VM down now and get rid of it. We've demonstrated how to deploy a Windows 10 multi-session VM with Office 365 to a managed image. Let's say we wanted to do it to the shared image gallery. 
I've essentially copy and pasted the JSON and then added a couple of lines here. That's to tell it the shared image gallery. Now, remember when we looked at the resource group at the start, we had a shared image gallery. That's that one right there. So let's do the shared image gallery. One of the things that we need in the shared image gallery is an image definition that matches the OS we're going to deploy. This isn't deployed as part of the packer job, so you have to set this up yourself. You could either do it in the GUI, or like I've got um, shown here, you can do it in PowerShell. So these are all the parameters for the command, which I'm just going to put in a variable. And then I'm going to splat those uh, to the new gallery image definition. It's just a way to get everything on screen nice and easily. So that's now going to go talk to Azure and set up a new image definition in that shared image gallery. And as soon as that's finished, what we'll do is we'll do exactly the, what we did before. We'll validate our JSON and then we'll build our new image. All right, that's finished. Let's just validate our JSON. Packer likes it, and that's great. And we'll do the build. Again, I'm going to massively speed this up. Um, one of the things I do want to note in the JSON, so I've set up some replication regions. So we're already going to put the VM, uh, sorry, the image into UK South, we're going to put into UK West, Western Europe and Eastern US. So four replication locations. This is one of the reasons why the shared image gallery is so good because you can automatically configure versioning and replication around the world. So let's see what that looks like right now. So we can see that the image has now been replicated inside the uh, shared image gallery. There's the JSON view. And we can see that we've got the replicas in all of the target regions. Now I sped that up for you, but that took pretty much an hour, just over. So <clears throat> beware, that took 50 minutes longer, as you would expect when you're replicating a large amount of data around the world, than it did just to create the managed image. Um, so just be prepared for the, for the change in time. All right, that's uh, it for this episode on uh, Packer and um, Windows Virtual Desktop and Azure. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Thank you.